Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today we have a figure from a new series. This is one that has been requested um, by several people and it is Yu Yu Hakusho and we have the Hiei action figure. Um, I've been looking for these for quite some time, but the prices are really high in general. Uh, this one I was able to find for a good deal and they had a few others which are around 20 to $25. Um, but then as the bidding went on, those went up into the 60s and 70 so this is the only one I was able to get for now um, but I'll show you some other options on the back that I'm always keeping an eye out for so there is a Yusuke with a poo there's the Hiei figure with the sword that we have there is a Kurama with the rose whip and then there's a whole other series that has Koenma, Kuwabara, uh, Botan, and several other characters um, but for now this is the only one that I can promise on the channel but I'm always checking and to see if the prices are reasonable. If they are, I'll definitely look to get these two next. Uh, but just to go ahead and start with this figure, here is the packaging. You can see him up close here. He's got a sticker here on the side, so showing here. He's got his sword. He's got his arm wrap with the dragon. Looks like Yusuke's eyes and face in the back. We've got the logo down here, Funimation, as seen on Cartoon Networks. This is so classic. I grew up watching this. I used to read the manga in the Shonen Jump magazines, um, so really excited to finally have this figure. And then here in the back, uh, Jack Specific, main character is here, picture, and you can see the other figures. We'll go ahead and get him out of the box, um, see what he looks like, what he does as far as articulation. And then the next video will also be something that's new um, to the channel. I showed this in a preview video. It's going to be this shredder from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And one thing I'll do is I found a box at my parents that has all my old figures. Um, when I was just a kid, it's got a ton of Ninja Turtles, it's got a ton of Dragon Ball Z, they're already out of the box. And so I'll probably look to make a video of my um, collection. So not unboxing videos, but just of the collection I had growing up. So that should be hopefully sometime over the next month or so. But let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package. And we'll see what see what we got. And as always, if there are any figures you guys would like to see, please leave a comment down below. I've got a couple more Dragon Ball Z on the way. So I appreciate all the requests that you guys leave. So this is actually neat. I never knew it came with this, but you get a stand for the figure. It's kind of a flimsy-ish plastic, so hopefully it holds up well. Um, but again, just a nice little piece they included, um, kind of for display. So we'll set that down, and then the only other thing in here is just this paper. So we'll set the box off to the side, and then let's go ahead and get the figure out. It looks like the sword, and the arms and the legs are all locked in there with these zip ties. fast as possible just so we can go ahead and get to the, to the figure. Let's see. So let's go ahead and get a sword out. And you can see the sword is it's kind of this really, I don't want to say rubber, but it's a very kind of bendy, bendy plastic. Um, so hopefully that will kind of straighten out because it was in the package. It's no big deal though. Can't expect this to be perfect. It's been in the box. At least 15 years by now, I'd say. So we have a little time to kind of straighten out. Okay, so here's the figure right off the bat and kind of feel how how sturdy it is, really durable. So let me set that down, get the packaging out of the way, and then let's go ahead and look at the figure. Right off the bat, one of my favorite things about it is the blue shirt. So this looks like he when they're in the semifinals um, and he's got his arm all wrapped up so semi-finals of the dark tournament and he's fighting Kuro he just beat McIntyre and they beat him took care of him really fast with the sword now he's about to fight fight Kuro 
and he's kind of got that whole look whole look going on heavily bandaged arm trying to master the dragon of the darkness flame or in the manga they just call it the black dragon so let's go ahead and look at him up close and you guys can see it's kind of got that they really did a good job on the face they got his red eyes kind of a signature feature he's got his headband on they've got that light blue trim around his hair a little bit of pop of the white and then in the back too they've got all the spikes so really good detail there his head does turn the one thing about the figure is he's just kind of looking straight down so um, I wish his head could tilt up a little bit it's not bad though because it almost looks like when you set him down he's kind of got his head down but he's looking up at you but that's just one thing I wish his head could come up a little bit um, but that's just a minor minor thing here in the shirt you can kind of see the ripples the detail really really good job with the paint his arm comes up so it moves back and forth comes up here you can see that swivel he bends at the elbow his wrist doesn't turn but you can also see the bandaging there up close they did a really really good job with that and then his other arm does the same thing you can probably put the sword in either arm i think well actually i think it's meant for this one we can probably get it to stay in this one see the little belt straps here and then his pants traditional black his leg comes up to about here and it does bend at the knee this one is going to be a little bit tight because the figure's been in in the package for so long but pretty good movement um so it bends back like that and then his ankles also twist um, but they don't bend so there's the figure from the front there he is from the back overall they did a really really good job with this um, let's see if we can get that sword in his hand one second i'm just going to Pull this over behind the camera for just one second and see if I can get that sword to fit in his hand. And we've almost got it. That the kind of bendy material makes it a little bit difficult. I guess we can always just put it put it in this hand. I try to do it in his other arm that's not bandaged but it wasn't working out too well so i thought i'd put it in this one now you can see where the sword was bent in the package it definitely needs to be straightened out but again it's not not the end of the world it's a very minor thing so let's go ahead and set him down take the sword out of his hand for now and then we'll put him on the on the stand and so you can see how that comes in comes in handy and it's not really a really sturdy stand but you can already feel how it kind of catches the figure um, once you set it down and so we'll set the sword down here as well and then we'll just bring our camera down so that we can see the figure up close so there he is and rotate that around. There's the sword down there. Then we'll get that sword fixed. And then from this side as well. And then we'll just take him off of this. And get one more kind of close up. So now we've done Hiei, so I'll try my best to get Yusuke, Kurama, Kuwabara, as many characters as possible um, from, the, from the show. And we also have more Dragon Ball Z figures coming up. We've got the Shredder coming up soon. And just leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see. Here's Hiei up close one more time. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you next video.